We're here at the Broadcom booth, which is why where I come to see the future, because Broadcom builds uh, the chips and technologies inside a lot of the products. So if you want to know what CES is going to look like in 2015, you come to this booth and get access exactly. to the secret sauce. <laughs>
I mean, if you look around the booth here, uh, yeah. tell me about some of the other things that Broadcom is showing customers you know, to, to sure. well, inform the future of our, of, of our products. One of the bigger items at the show are the 4K TVs. I mean, they're, they're everywhere, every major Samsung. And we build the chips that go into the set-top boxes that, you know, DirecTV, Dish, Comcast, all ship to your home. That can take the signal from the network and display it on the 4K TV. So, so we are the leading provider of set-top box silicon. And over there, you're showing uh, four uh, four screens on one, so four 1080p screens. That's right. So I could watch four football games on one 4K TV. Yeah. yeah. If you have a 4K TV and a set-top box that can decode 4K, it can also decode four 1080p uh, signals simultaneously and display them full resolution on a 4K TV. So you have the same resolution you have today with 1080p, four and one. So it's pretty compelling for sporting events, for example. This is a big booth and we're gonna take some B-roll and, and shoot the booth, but behind us is uh, Internet of Things. That's, that's a big uh, trend on the show floor, uh, home automation. I have a Revolve unit. I have, an, I have a Nest thermostat, a Nest uh, smoke yeah. detector. And Broadcom and chips inside. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm helping you guys out. Thank then. you. Okay. Thanks for your business. <laughs> and and uh, I have some lights, that are LED lights that are internet yeah, yeah. enabled, and I have some cameras. And more and more, I, man, we, we should go shoot some of the uh, home automation booths here. Right. What do you see happening in that space, and what, what is Broadcom investing in for the Internet of Things? It's a major area of investment for us. We developed this technology we call WICED, W-I-C-E-D, Wireless Internet Connectivity for Embedded Devices. And it's, there's two versions of it, a Bluetooth version and a Wi-Fi version. And it's just a shrink wrap, tiny little module that you can embed it, put into the Nest you know, thermostat or smoke detector. And it makes it very easy for the end customer to build their products because all the wireless is taken care of, all the black magic of getting wireless to work we've taken out of the loop there, so they just buy a, a shrink wrap <laughs> module and they just have to write their own application software and they're off and running. So it's, uh, it, it lowers the barrier to entry for these products because we take care of the difficult part of the wireless black magic and then they can just focus on the application. So you can buy this on the internet, and it's just easily available and it will enable endless Internet of Thing devices because oh, yeah. You, so need you, guys build, you guys build mostly the wireless uh, modules and a little bit of processor and a little exactly. bit of memory. You, you don't really build a lot of sensors. Either. No sensors. Yeah. So we have communications and the processing. And then you have to attach a sensor to it and then the application software. Yeah. So uh, another big trend, uh, uh, let's just keep going on the trends. Another big trend here is uh, automobiles. Yes. Uh, Mercedes showed us the first contextual car that really knows you at a deep level. What are you guys doing in terms of car technology? Yes, that to enable that demo kind of right around the corner there, but it's uh, the network car. Um, and all cars are becoming, they are networked today, but we're moving into the next generation. So we've put Ethernet technology, which is in every data center in the world yep. is now moving into the automobile. So now you're going to have Ethernet networks in your car, you're going to have Wi-Fi networks in your car, uh, and then you saw all the new user interfaces with the uh, larger screens and so forth. So communication to and within the car is the next big thing. So you, you pull into your garage, you'll automatically download your movies and music that you'll play the next day uh, through a Wi-Fi connection in your car. So just connectivity. One of the since we're going to be walking around and driving around with lots of devices on us, we need connectivity out to the internet. I, I'm seeing some uh, LTEs. LTEs, another major area. Of what is this new advanced uh, 300 mil speed? Mega it's all about speed, just like cars. Faster cars, you need faster cell phones. So the next generation of LTE is going to 300 megabits per second. Current generation is either 75 or 150. Theoretical max. I mean, each user doesn't get that, obviously. But uh, if you don't live close to a cell tower, exactly. Right? But the next generation is going to double it again to 300, and that's going to be coming out next year. Next year, so yeah. 20, that's the 2015 thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. Why don't yeah. you guys hurry it up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of infrastructure has to get deployed as well. The cell towers have to be upgraded and everything. So, but, uh, so that's moving on. Wi-Fi is getting faster and faster. Yeah. We now have gigabit speeds on Wi-Fi. Yeah, I have a new AC, 802.11ac uh, router in my house, that's and right. it is faster. Exactly. Um, you guys build a wall of them there. Every yeah. vendor of 
802.11 AC technology is using the Broadcom chips and the routers. Um, so that's a big business for us. So it, you know, it's cable modems. You know, you're going to have gigabit speeds to your home now over cable modems. Well, we need that if you get a 4K TV and you want a Netflix. 4K for right. Jay Fendo, we're uh, going to invest in 4K. Not every person can get 4K TV right. to their house, even if they have the service and they have the TV. That's right. So you guys we're building, building next generation cable modems that can get to multi gigabit speeds to the home. Um, another great demo I got to take you to is indoor location, being able to identify your presence in a room. So if you walk up to demonstration here, it'll know you're there yeah. because your phone will identify you as being close to the... Well, that, that's interesting to me because of contextual software. Yes. I wrote a book called Age of Context and I, I'm i seeing a lot of innovation in that space. Uh, you guys uh, came to my studio, Scott, uh, the CEO, showed me uh, low energy or smart Bluetooth rackets. Right. And that's just starting to take off, right? Yes, uh, this, this demo uses Wi-Fi and it's actually very compelling. In fact, if you want to walk around to the other side, you'll, you'll love to see it. We'll, we'll go do that. Okay, let's Start do that. Off. Thank you very much. So this is uh, why we come to the Consumer Electronics Show because you can't do, you can't see the future in one place like you can here at the Broadcom booth. Thanks.